Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with my tutorials on vector calculus for electromagnetism. This is video number 26, and I'm going to discuss the curl of the gradient. The previous videos to this are number 25, where I discussed the Laplacian, numbers 14 to 21, where I discussed the product rules. I'd like to draw your attention to my website, universityphysicstorials.com. So to be honest, this, this video is going to be pretty short, because it's a very straightforward uh, identity to prove. So, first of all, we take the gradient of the scalar function A. Of course, it returns a vector field. So it's going to be del A, del X in the i hat unit vector direction, plus del A, del Y in the j hat unit vector direction, and del A, del Z in the k hat unit vector direction. What's left for us to do then is to compute the curl of this. So, if you want to know what to do a cross product, look at my video on uh, the, the, the cross product, which is video number 3. So, we're going to take del del x, del del y, and del del z, like that. Plug in the components of our gradient, so we're going to have del a del x, del a del y, and del a del z. Of course, to get the, the cross product here, or the curl in this case, what we need to do is uh, take the determinant of the particular 3 by 3 matrix. And the components we're going to get are as follows. You're going to get del del y, del del z of a, minus del del z, del del y on a, and that's in the i hat direction. We're going to have a minus term, del del x, del del z on a, del del x, del del z on a minus del del z del del x on a and that's in the j hat and finally we're going to have del del x del del y in the a, uh, on a uh, of course and then minus del del y del del x times a in the or operating on a it will say in the k hat direction now the the whole thing that this hinges upon is the fact that we'll say in this case del del y del del z for example is equivalent to applying z first or sorry excuse me y first and then z so y y second after after z is the same as z second after y so that means that each of these can be written uh, again so for example in the middle here we have x z z x so we can swap them and it turns out then of course that they are the same quantity so everything goes to zero and what we're left is that the curl of the gradient of any scalar function, let's say a in this case, is zero. So the phrase you need to put into your head is the curl of the gradient is always zero. And that's a fact of, uh, that's a fact of vector calculus which will never change. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to my channel. And please visit universityphysicstorial.com.